Here's the final look. I think it looks really pretty. Bruh. I think that I would wear this um, to the Met Gala. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Maddie V. If you're new here, hi. If you're old here, hi. Um, I am a 20-something year old girl, literally just going through life, trying to figure out who she is, what's going on, um, all of the above. So if that's interesting, please consider subscribing to my channel. Essentially, um, I wanted to film like a little get ready with me chit chat type of thing because um, it's been a crazy, crazy week and I've been trying to do kind of more positive affirmations in the morning. So thinking about things that I'm happy about and thinking of things that make me grateful for um, being alive. And especially during this year, it's really important to kind of remember the good things because the bad things are, I feel like more prominent this year than most years for a lot of people. So um, it's been really hard for me to personally like stay positive and think about the good things. So Maria, um, I will link her channel below. Um, she tagged me in the 10 things that make me happy challenge video. I don't really know what it is, but like I said, I really am trying to be more positive about things. And so I thought this would be a perfect time to do that. Um, so I'm just going to do my makeup and kind of talk about 10 things right now that make me happy because why not? Why not start the day off on a positive note? I went into the Dollar Tree and I got a lot of cute stuff and I was really pleasantly surprised and a lot of them are making me happy right now except for this clip because my hair is getting way too long and I really 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 need a haircut. Yeah so life has been a little bit kooky dooky um but what's new I've had a lot of um kind of inconvenient things happen and like I said I'm trying to switch the negative mindset of why is all this happening into okay so how can I turn all these bad things that are happening into positive kind of outlook so I'm dealing with um a really sick friend right now and um I actually kind of went through a little bit of like a traumatic experience with that um I don't want to get into it because it's not my business to share, but honestly, that was unlike anything I've ever dealt with ever in my life. Um, and then I recently had a childhood friend pass away um, very unexpectedly, and um, it's kind of weird because I had some friends come and visit me last week, and we actually... We're making plans for him to come and visit as well and those plans kind of just fell through um i didn't think anything of it at the time uh, when he like stopped talking to me but now i do know that he was going through some stuff and it makes me really upset that um maybe i couldn't have been there um but you know like i said you can't really think about that kind of stuff um and just wonder what if this beauty blender um, I got at Sephora when I did my Sephora haul because I decided to just like revamp my whole like makeup routine slash collection because I just had like old expired makeup and now I'm using like the Rare Beauty foundation. But anyway, this beauty blender, I really like it because I used to use a foundation brush and um, I realized I was wasting like so much um product and duh that's why the beauty blender was like invented i like to use the neutrogena like skin clearing mineral powder on top of my um rare beauty foundation so not only to mattify it a little bit but to also just like add like one more layer of like coverage um i like to go in with this powder I think I'm going to conceal today just because I am filming and I want to look snatched alive all of the above I do also use the rare beauty concealer if you like a concealer that's really like heavy duty um I would definitely not recommend this one but I personally like it because I kind of just wear concealer for the aesthetic um to look a little bit 
lighter under my eyes and brighten up you might say so this is a really good one to have because it's really light coverage and it doesn't look cakey on a light foundation um or not light c color but like light coverage i used to use the urban dk i forgot what it's called but their um concealer and oh baby that one is super like I remember like smiling and it would like crack and so I really like this sort of um, concealer. Now I'm going to use the Makeup Forever um, HD setting powder. This is like the pressed one, not the loose one. Um, I prefer this one. I haven't been into the whole contouring thing lately. I've kind of just been into like bronzing my face. So um, I'm going to use the NARS bronzer. I think it's in Casino. Um, and just brighten my face up and um, add a little bit of color because it's approaching winter here in Washington. I'm going to lose my tan. And I don't like fake tanning. I don't like self tanning. I just like... My skin changing colors with those seasons because it's just way too much work to try to look the same all the time you know what i mean Ooh. i think i'm going to do my eyebrows next which i've been struggling with trying to figure out how to do my eyebrows i've watched so many tutorials and i just it's hard it literally is like i think the hardest part besides maybe eyeliner i haven't even tried eyeliner yet so fingers crossed all right friends so i don't know why i think i'm some beauty guru but i totally forgot to talk about the 10 things that i love right now i go over them at the very end so make sure to keep watching i just got my eyebrows done too the other day so i ha i literally hadn't gotten my eyebrows done since i uh quit my job can you believe that i quit my i went i went and got my eyebrows done and then i was like yeah so like she was like oh okay cool and then um i quit my job and ran out of money just didn't get my eyebrows done for um three or four months so that's cool so that is one thing that makes me happy right now is that my eyebrows look snatched to the jods i meant to I say god i really just like the natural like fluffy look and um I think I'm just gonna embrace it. Do they look even? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, no question here that this guy is a little bit darker than this guy, but like, what do I do? Do I add more and potentially mess it up? Or, <gasps> I think they look even now. I'm just not even gonna touch them anymore. Um, the less I look at them, the more they look normal. So uh, I'm sure by the end of the video, no one will even notice that I just totally butchered my eyebrows. I am going to attempt to use this LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner from the Dollar Tree. Okay, it smells like a Sharpie. This is what the applicator looks like. I don't know how to do this. I probably should have watched like a tutorial or something on this. I don't know. I I I don't know like what to do. She's getting all over my eyelashes. I think your girl just isn't gonna use uh, eyeliner. <laughs> okay, I don't know what to do, um, so I'm just not gonna touch it anymore and I'm gonna try to put a little bit on my other eye. <gasps> I can't do it. Having f eyela- like doing it. Okay, doing eyeliner with um, false eyelashes is not the move at all. Um, I think I just ruined them! I literally can't. 
Okay, I hate this. I absolutely, positively hate this. It has made my eyelashes so stuck together. Um, they're falling apart. I should have thought about this before. I guess you can't wear eyeliner if you have fake eyelashes. False eyelashes. Eyelash extensions. Um, yeah, but here's the final look. I think it looks really pretty. Bruh. I think that I would wear this, um, to the Met Gala. I think, um... My first big brand deal. I'm definitely going to wear my makeup like this. Cue music in the background. Okay. I tried to be adventurous. I really did. Okay, well, this eyeliner comes off super easily. Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics. I'm pretty sure this was like the Jaclyn Hill like collab thing. But this is like the most sad thing you'll ever see. All right, well, I got a big chunk of foundation off my skin right there from when I was trying to apply that eyeliner. So I'm just gonna stick highlighter just straight over it. <laughs> Pretend like nothing happened. Okay, now to get the foundation off my lips, I'm just gonna stick my Q-tip and the Vaseline and just erase like it never happened. Then I put chapstick on and I just let my lips like soak up the moisture while I will like do my hair or you know whatever. Okay so I know I got a little bit distracted with the whole like 10 things that I love right now um but I had some time to think about it. I wrote it in my dream journal that my little Kira got me in college. I wrote this in here because this is going to be the start of the 10 things that I love right now and it's going to be the start of me writing things down that I love when I'm getting to the feeling of there's nothing to love in the world right now. Basically, the 10 things that I wrote down that I love right now, and number one is my cat. And that sounds so lame and so weird, but I hated cats and I got this thing and he has been the most supportive and helpful thing um, through 2020. And if you don't have a cat, you really should get one. My second thing that I love right now is my apartment. I'm just really happy with my apartment right now and that I have a roof over my head. Um, the third thing that I'm thankful for is my family. I'm very thankful to have a loving and supportive family and um, especially with the holidays and not being able to spend Thanksgiving with my mom and dad, it made me extra, extra super thankful for them. The fourth thing that I really love right now is my job, not only because um, I'm taking a whole different leap into another career, but that I have a job in general. <sighs> There's a lot of people that are out of jobs right now or still can't find jobs after, you know, those first kind of COVID layoffs. So I am very thankful that not only was I able to leave a toxic job, um, but find a new one and kind of catalyze my life from here. The fifth thing that I love right now is all the shit that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm obsessed with this nail polish. I'm obsessed with, obsessed with those clips, the barrettes, the jade roller, just everything. The sixth thing that I really love right now, and this is super weird, but are my lips. I have been so self-conscious lately seeing all the girls on social media with their like big lip injections and all that stuff and I was getting a little bit self-conscious but I looked in the mirror like 15 minutes ago and I was like for having natural lips I can't complain. The seventh thing is my hair. I've always really loved my hair. It's finally grown out to the point where um, I like this length. This is usually the length that I grow it out to before I get like a big chop um, so that my hair can regrow again and be healthy. Um, the eighth thing that I love right now is just life, that I have life, that I'm healthy, that I'm living. Um, I get in this huge, huge mindset where I'm just so 
gosh darn unappreciative of all the good stuff that I have in my life and I just constantly think about the bad things, inconveniences, this and that. I'm just starting to manifest a better life for myself and I'm really loving that for me right now, so yeah. The ninth thing is the season. Like I love fall. I love like the end of fall, beginning of winter. I love layering. I love boots. I love jackets. I just love Washington right now. I love that it's going to start snowing soon. And the last thing that I love and I am so, so, so thankful for is you guys, um, my YouTube channel and just the ability to have an outlet to be able to talk about my feelings, talk about the things going on in my life. Um, it's given me a hobby. It's given me purpose back into my life. I'm just really loving this and um, not giving up. And I'm going to keep focusing on my dream and my goals. And um, yeah. So those were the 10 things that I love right now and honestly thank you Maria for tagging me in that um, watching your video made me really take a step back and um, think about all the positives in life um, because I'm tired of being sad and I really do think that I am the sole contributor of why I'm being sad right now and why I'm not happy with my life and I think it's because I'm letting all of the bad stuff just fill my mind and um there's no reason for that thank you again for watching and thank you for being here and please don't forget to like comment subscribe you can follow me on social media at maddie villa underscore on everything and yeah also add me on fortnite because i love fortnite um my username gamer tag whatever it's called is lil mama mad and yeah have a great day live your best life and just forget about the bullshit <laughs>